I bet they're going to be about how vinyl has outsold CDs for the first time since 1987 in my thoughts. Uh, someone who used to buy records, I don't anymore. I'll never buy records no more. I don't care if you file share, wherever you listen to it. If you listen to it for free, more power to you. It's an overrated experience because record sales don't even go to the artists. Um, they're overpriced, and it's just not really worth the situation anymore. You know how they got away in the nineties when you'd have two or three good songs, and one of them songs was the they you want the video version, they give you the edit, and they mixed you up. They did it on purpose. So now you can sit on YouTube all day or different places and find the songs you want. And the record store ain't the same as it was. I mean, now they got some old school stores that are up, but it's mainly towards Best Buy, Walmart, a handful of places, or Target or something like that. So it's not even really the record store experience anymore. It's an area that doesn't grow in it. Now, the vinyl that I did see when I used to go into certain places, I don't anymore. When I used to go to Barnes and Nobles, uh, I saw vinyl in there for like $25, $30, outrageous prices. People are still buying it. Yeah. Quality of the records is what happens. And also quality of the music. I don't see where you would be buying a lot of modern day stuff per se. But I'm not surprised because it was something um, elegant about pulling out albums like a new calendar. And you could look at it and appreciate it. You just can't do that with CDs. They have liner notes and stuff like that. But it's not the same. Vinyl always had that aura, always that magnetism, always that force. I still remember when I first had gotten Thriller on album and how just Michael Jackson's artwork, what he drew and the concepts and then reading all the liner notes and who played what and the productions and the songwriting and the lyrics and, the, you know, just reading parts that made an album an experience and how it, you know, you take the sleeve out and had that smell and that vibe. That isn't that is that was a special time. And I'm not surprised it's out selling, but I'm trying to figure out what is actually people out here buying because it's not the same, you know. It really ain't the same. But I mean I'm good to hear. Because they're always trying to push technology on you and trying to tell you you should do this, you should do that. And they don't and they wonder they remember you they remember to move you from your experiences from if you didn't want to have cassettes no more, if you didn't want to have CDs and more, they want to move this. But it's good to see that people are still having a say because vinyl is still the ultimate way to listen to music. I love the snap, crackle, pop. There was something about it. And seeing a big album cover and seeing everything, that's what made the experience even greater. So just saying. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and share the video if you want to. And if you love the vinyl, let it be known. However, again, if this was an era where there was some music like that to go get, I would understand. You know, vinyl used places are still happening, and that's where it's at. But of course, it's going to outsell. You know, it's just it's just more enriching and more engaging. Because for all the high flaws of technology, nothing hits harder to the soul than the vinyl. I'm out.